champion. Zero serving zero. He's not the reigning collegiate national champion. That reverse. That's a beautiful Point. shot there from Luis. That's why that two-wall pass really doesn't work, Dave, against the top pros when they're in the One front court zero. because they're so skilled. Take that ball out of the Point. out of the air. There's a beautiful ace there from Luis. That's what we saw him do about 17 Two times yesterday. Zero. There's that reverse again. Side out. He left that one up a little too high, and Allen made him pay. Zero serves two. Zero serving two. That was a nice Point. fist there from Alan Garner. Ran into the side wall. This, Dave, is a rematch from the World Championship semifinals One, played two. in October of 2009. And in November, it's a replay of the Arizona State Championship where Alan Garner Only won that two. one in a close tiebreaker. One serving two. What? No, no. Side up, Tara. Uh, two serving one. Two serves one. That looked like a hinder to me, and Allen overruling Sal, saying that he couldn't have had that ball. He could have had that ball. That's one of the knocks on Allen's game, is that he's too nice. You remember that in the World Championship when he was giving calls away. One serving two. One serves two. Point. Allen holds a nine to one career record over Luis. Two, serving two. Luis's only win coming last year in Alaska at the shootout. You can see why, Dave. Luis has trouble with the bomb, bombshell. Luis has a tendency to give a lot of back wall setups. Allen's best shot is his back wall with his left and right hand. Luis two, two. also not accustomed to someone matching his power, which Allen certainly can do. Point. That's three to two now. Surprised Allen didn't get that ball. That ball was up. He gave up on it. Three serving two. They gave out the sportsmanship awards yesterday at the banquet, and Allen Garner's name wasn't called, but it very well could have. I like that shot there from Luis. Point. Very tough to shoot the ball, Dave, when you're coming back to the back wall, having Four, to set yourself. Two. You see that hitch in Allen's swing with his right hand, Dave. He tends to pop up at the last Five, second, even leave two. his feet as he's shooting that ball with his right. You'll never see him do that with his left. Stay down nicely on that ball. Side out. It's almost like he's cocking his gun before Two, he pulls the trigger. Five. I actually feel like that's what cost him the world championship against Paul Brady. He made a number of mistakes with his right hand popping up. That very well could have been the difference in winning that match. The last time, Dave, that you alluded to these two playing was in November at the Arizona State Championships. Luis crushed Five, Allen there in that first two. game, 21-10. Overwhelmed no, him. Short. That might be appealed. Allen yeah, came back to, to win the next two Four games three. there. Call stands. I thought that Second ball was short. Third. I thought it was short as well. And the guy standing to your left thought it was good. No surprise. I don't, I don't like that serve there from the to Allen Garner. Just puts that ball on a tee for Allen five. off the back wall. There's a mistake. Nice get there. Here's a setup for Allen. Strong hand is his left, and he does a two wall pass. Point. Very smart shot. Three, serving five. This is really a treat here, Dave, at the, at the Collegiate World Championships to get to see the number two and three player in the right world up. doing battle. This is a heavyweight battle. This could very well be the finals of a, a national championship or a world championship. Five, We're seeing three. it here in the finals of a world college championship. This actual match will go against the WPH rankings as well. Hmm. Second serve. Not sure I agree with that. 
We don't rate whether the tournament is a pro event or not. It's just players versus players. Point. Hmm. But there's certain players that can't enter this event. That doesn't come into the equation, actually. Well, Six, I played Alan three, Garner the three. other day in a <laughs> practice match. We split. I'd like some ranking points for that. Side out. This isn't a practice match. Hmm. Touche. Three serves six. Three serves six. No, short. Second serve. Yeah. We've talked about this a lot, Dave. Point. Alan's always been a supreme talent. Announced his arrival at the age Four, of 18. 36. Really, the only changes he's made in the last year that have taken him to the next level are Point. really his mental game and also his serve. He's worked a lot on his serve. His confidence Five, has come with some success. He told us last night, Dave, that he's working on disguising the hooks on his serve, trying to use the same arm delivery for both his natural and reverse serve. Set up in the front court, he misses it. There's another point for Alan Garner. You're watching the men's Division I Open Finals here at the collegiate level. Six, serving six. Six to six. Four. Alan was down two to six, four unanswered points now. Either player at their best right now, Seven, working their way into this match. Luis seeking his third collegiate championship, this time though for a World Collegiate Championship. Alan Garner, this is his first collegiate games. And it won't be his last. That's right, Alan just enrolled in college. This is his first year in the college event. Light over. For those of you that think Alan Garner's too old to enter college, he's only six, 24 seven, years six. young. Just Rodney, seems, just Rodney Dangerfield like, didn't start college until he was 65, if you'll remember. That was in back to school. Have that on Blu-ray. Hmm. In my seven, six. collection. Seven to six. First game. That's a good serve. That's Luis stays with it. Great Point. shot there from Allen. I thought he made a mistake not letting that ball drop, but he set up for that tomahawk fist. Eight. Six. Six straight points for Alan Garner. Surprised Luis hasn't taken a timeout. Alan's footwork is so good now on that serve. You see him really loading up on his Nine, six. back foot and pushing into it. There's a setup again. Like you said, Luis feeds those setups. There has to be a timeout called here soon. Luis is a lot like Phil Jackson. He likes to play through those bad stretches. 10-6. 10 serve 6. Luis traditionally calls timeouts only when he's tired. And now Alan Garner just really heating up here. 11 serving 6. Watch this footwork here. This is something that everyone watching can really learn from, Dave. Luis takes care of that revolving door back wall shot. Six serving 11. Six serves 11. See a lot of the handball players from the Tucson, Arizona area coming up here for these finals to support Luis Moreno. Second serve. Luis is the golden boy. He's the natural. He's the crowd favorite really anywhere he goes. That's something that we don't talk about a lot with Luis because his shot making is so great, but his retrieving just as good. He's one of the seven, quickest guys seven, in the sport. Seven, seven, wow, look at that. Luis Get Dave, a lot like Naughty Jr. With a lead, his serve is a lot more effective than it is from behind. He's more comfortable serving with the lead. 11, serve seven. 11, serve seven. I agree with that. 
Now Luis is starting to get frustrated with himself. Luis, Luis looked a little bit indecisive with that left-hand swing. That was a pretty easy shot for him. 12-7. No. Second serve. It's hard to really appreciate, Dave, just the amount of pressure and power that Alan Garner Seven, applies 12. when you're in there with the court with him. Seven, 12. Seven serves 12. Your decision-making ability is made a lot more difficult because that ball is moving so fast. Luis actually got a nice reverse on that ball with his left, and that ball straight. And that looked like when he hit it, it would pop off that right side wall, Eight, give Alan a 12. setup, but it didn't. There's a great serve from Luis. Allen does well to get that ball back, and here's the setup. Hold it, play over. Side out. 12, serves 8. Seems like the players are refing their own in there, Dave. They've already overruled two hinder calls by Sal. Certainly that last ball was, I thought, gettable. So did our referee, but Luis conceded it. Second serve. Here's a second serve. Nice shot there from Luis. Side Luis out. not committing to his offense right now. Eight, serving 12. Point. Poor shot there from Allen. Had a very easy back wall set up with his right hand, hit it right back at Luis. 9, 12. Point. That's a patented shot of Luis. Take a step back with his left foot there. Drive that ball with his 10, left hand with a nice 12. reverse on it. Back down the left. And serves 12. Right Just not a good serve there from Luis. That ball popped up 10 feet from the back wall. Very easy shot for Allen. 12, serving 10. Side out. 10, serving 12. Nice shot from Garner. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that unbelievable? Crowd loves it too. Go, baby. Twelve serving ten. Seems like Allen's out playing Luis, but only leading by two points with Luis serving here at 10 to 12. 10 serving 12. There's an ace serve. Point. Luis took a little bit off that serve down the left and it paid off for him. 11 serving 12. Got the ace. Nope. If Luis can find his range on his serve, Second Dave. Serve. I give him a very good chance to win this match. If he can't, he'll be All it, bad bounce off the door. in some trouble. That was a bad bounce off the door. Luis will get a first serve here. Two serves. Score is 11, serving 12. You heard that score, 11 to 12. This is the first game. All it, play it over. He was there. I don't agree with that call. Eleven, twelve. Dave, you notice how far up Alan Garner stands waiting for that serve. He stands almost up at that restraining line. He's closer to the restraining line than he is to the back wall. That's unusual. That's how he always does it, though. Timeout. Alan, score is 12, serves 11. Well, you heard the score. 12 serves 11. This is the first game. We're going to 21. Men's Division I open.
finals between Luis Moreno from Pima Community College in Tucson, Arizona, and San Antonio College's Alan Garner, the blonde bombshell. Alan is the number one seed in the tournament, although he is seeded, or world ranked number two, excuse me, number three, and Luis Moreno is the number two world ranked player who is seeded number two. Sal Santa Ana, you said, has a record against Alan Garner in his career. He's never lost to him. And he's the referee. The gallery completely packed here and fairly quiet as of right now, although Alan Garner made a nice kill shot there toward the end that got this group charged up. Certainly seeing a lot of people stepping in to watch the finals here. John Bike over my right shoulder. The great Fred Lewis over my left. In the booth we have Jeff Kastner. Waiting for him to bring his headset down so we can hear a word from him. And uh, Dave Fink. Plus a whole bunch of fans out here. Luis missing a very easy kill shot attempt there. Just before the timeout. Would have tied the score at 12. Instead... Alan Garner gets the side out, and he'll be serving at 12-11. 12 serves 11. Okay, resume play. That was a picture of my head on the live webcast. 12 serves 11. 12 serves 11. No. Second serve. Nice serve and a nice return there from Luis. Point. Luis pins the bombshell 35 feet back with his left hand, and the bombshell rolls that ball 13, out. 11. Hard to defend against that. Fight out. Thought Allen thought that was a short ball. Allen saying he 11, thought 13. the referee called that ball short. Everyone always says when that happens that you have to play through every shot, but then this Only is a play. gentleman's sport, and sometimes the player's first instinct is to hold up and be a gentleman about it. 11, Luis 13. Wasted a very good opportunity there to kill that ball down the right. Out. Beautiful corner kill there from Allen. He told me he's trying to work on taking the ball out of the air a little 13, bit more. 11. A good example of it there. Point. This is a dangerous time in the game for Luis. Luis nearly 14, tied the 11. score 12, 12, now finds himself trailing 14 to 11. Screen ball. Fourteen, eleven. Fourteen serves eleven. Point. Fifteen, eleven. Well, Luis seems to be trying to feather those kills in instead of power them into those corners. Point. It's coming up short on a lot of them, Dave. Score now is. 16 to 11. 16, 11. Luis has given Allen a lot of free points here. Boy, that was close to being short. We'll see if it's appealed after the point. The loser of the point certainly should appeal it. Point. Point. That should be a side out. Excuse no, no. me, that should be a point. No appeal from Luis. There's sort of an unwritten rule that if you have a long rally, you don't call the appeal. 17, Although 11. you'd like to call them on every server. Might as well. They're free. Point. 18 to 11. Beautiful serve from Alan Garner. This is Division One Men's Open 18, Finals. 18, 11. First game. Alan just really Point. comfortable in there right now. Nineteen, eleven. Nineteen serves eleven. Point. 
Allen just dominating here, Dave. Game point serves 11. Playing extremely well. Smart shot. Side out. They're going to call for a towel here. Allen's a little upset with himself here. You're watching the World Intercollegiate Four-Wall Handball Championships at ASU. Arizona State University, Pima College representative, student athlete, Luis Moreno, just down the street, Tucson, Arizona, versus San Antonio College's Allen Garner, who's taken a full schedule in that college. Allen just happens to be the number two world-ranked pro. Luis Moreno is ranked number three. Let me clarify something about the rankings. This collectively these guys won't get any points to uh, to surpass Dave Chapman who is currently ranked number one so the points they're not going to get but between each other it's sort of like a, a ladder system so if you challenge somebody and you win there's a possibility that between the points between the two players hmm. that Luis Moreno could 11, just gather Ga Garner's 20. number two position Garner couldn't fall Side up further down and it wouldn't affect anybody else that could not enter this tournament. It's only between just these two players. 20 serves 11. No. Nope. Allen just too strong here in this first game for Luis, Second Dave. Serve. Side out. I think Allen thought that ball was going to skip. He gave up on it. He could have taken a step and re-killed that ball. 11 serves 20. That's what makes Luis Moreno so popular. Luis Moreno not out of this game completely, but he would like to establish some momentum, even if he can't come back and win this game. Establish some momentum for the next game. Second serve. He'll need to make some changes if he's going to come back in this match. I like that shot. That's a very, very difficult shot there, Dave. A very high degree of difficulty. If anybody can make that shot with their left hand, it is the bombshell, but still a low 13, percentage play. 20. 13 serves 20. Boy, Luis sure disguises that serve well, even though that was short. Second serve. Look at that one flatten out. Point. Unbelievable. You hear the crowd gasping after that serve. I'm surprised I don't see Luis serve that serve more often. 14, 20. I don't think even if you knew it was coming, you'd be able to catch up to it. But he's right. just going back and forth here, left to right. This I don't think he needs to do that, though, Dave, on that serve. I think he can stick to one side. This is why Luis is so dangerous. He's never out of a game. He's down 20 to 11. He's rallied to score three consecutive points, make that four. Right. Now Allen, who led comfortably at 20 to 11, now finds himself 15, serving 20. receiving serve at 15 to 20. No. Luis Moreno just as dangerous with his second serve, Dave, as he is with his first. Second serve. I like that serve right there. I don't. Beautiful shot there from Allen. Right out. Almost sounded like a miss hit, but I think he intentionally took something off of that ball, and that ball died in the left corner. 20, serving 15. 20 to 15, first game. Wow. Fourth ball. That could have been a really good serve right there. Very deceptive. Second serve. Not a good serve. Big setup. Luis takes care of it. That's a danger, Dave, in serving that hard two-wall serve. If you overhit that ball or don't hit the right angle, it'll come around right to that right hand off the back wall. 15, 20. Glove change, two minutes. That's a good call right there. Glove 16, change. 16 20. 16 to 20 is the score. Luis Moreno serving and on a nice, comfortable comeback here with five unanswered points versus the bombshell. You're watching Division I play, men's open finals of the Intercollegiate World Handball Championships in Tempe, Arizona, ASU, alongside Dave Fink. Dave, what does Alan Garner have to do right here to stop this momentum from 
Luis Moreno. Well, that's the most difficult thing when you're playing Luis Moreno, Dave, is to, to try and stop those streaks that he goes on. He's very capable of running out 10, 12 points in a row. We've seen him do it against everybody, including Paul Brady. When he beat Paul Brady in 2007, he trailed 8-0 to zero in the tiebreaker there and reeled off an 11-10 win. He actually, at one point, scored eight consecutive points and then scored the final three points to win that match. So Luis has that explosive ability. Allen has to find a way to get Luis out of that front court, get the serve back, and execute one more kill to win this first game. Easier well, said than done, obviously. Yeah, it's tough to, you know, with these guys, they're hitting the ball so hard. They're so aggressive. And momentum, a lot of lead changes. You know, Anthony Celesto yesterday compared handball to basketball, that there's a lot of runs in both of these sports. I guess I could agree with that. Sometimes we find uh, games much like the uh, Mariana Rush versus uh, Bailey Chandler game where there's not too much separation, only three or four points away from each other. They're, they're trading points, basically. So that does happen as well. And when it does happen, the crowd absolutely loves it. But here you're seeing uh, one, one person up high. They come back with a nice run. Well, this is very similar to that ladies' second game that we saw in the finals with the Irish lady Mariana leading 17-8 to and eventually losing that game 21-20. Here, Allen led 20-11, to now has seen his deficit cut virtually in half. It's now 16-20 to with Luis serving. You almost have to put the odds at a pick em here as to who's going to win this first game despite... Luis Moreno trailing 16 to 20. He does have the serve and all of the momentum. Allen's over there talking to his lovely wife. They're newlyweds. Luis just casually sitting down next to the, the court. Never said one word to anybody. Luis sitting courtside, just sitting there drinking water. Allen will go through seven or eight pairs of gloves in a match. Luis wears the same pair of gloves for an entire tournament. Well, Luis's gloves are certainly wet, and he didn't change them, and the mm. referee didn't enforce it. Luis's gloves don't get wet on the palm. They only get wet on the outside Luis of the fingers. Three. That's something I've noticed. Let's see if this momentum breaker... 16... See if this momentum breaker helps Alan Garner. 16-20, first game. No, That's a screen short. and a short. Second serve. That's a good serve right there. Point. That's really a shot that Allen's not all that comfortable hitting, is that fly kill with his right hand 17, 20. from the left side of the court. 17 serves, 20. Short ball. Allen, Allen is so glad Second that that serve. ball was short. Watch what Luis does here. Not the right shot there. Yeah. And Luis puts it away. You Luis now scored seven consecutive points, Dave, after looking like he was dead and gone here in this first game. 18, 20. 18 serves 20. Boy, that was good. It was a Point. short ball. That ball is short. Is it feeling the serve? Thought it was good? One disagrees. Call stands. Wow, that was a short ball by two inches, maybe oh, It looked three. like it hit the line and skid off the line because the ball will take a different bounce when it hits that line. Score you know, that ball will 19, slide, and it looked like 20. that's what happened there. Luis thought it was good, though. Oh, there it was, another point for Luis. But he missed out. Luis comes up about an inch short from tying this game at 20. Now Allen 20, back in the box. 19. There's the mystery ball. Uh-oh. Low contact. Not called by the referee. There is a side out from Luis Moreno. Now you hear the crowd. The Allen had a textbook opportunity there to take that right-hand fly kill and put it in the right corner, which would have won him the game. He chose to hit a punch fist two-wall shot. 20. Wasn't the right shot in that situation. Here's a big setup for Allen. Oh, that Bad ball. footwork, though. Handcuffed him, Surprising. Though. The ball handcuffed Allen. No. Allen gets his feet set yeah. nicely there for that right. Actually, Allen just got himself too close to that ball. He read that reverse properly and just didn't 20, get himself in the right position. 19. It was actually a natural. It came back in. 
Maybe I'm watching a different game than you. Allen not shooting the ball with his right hand right now. Surprising. Again, another opportunity, Dave, and he wraps that ball around. It's going to be tough. There it there is. There it is. Oh! Allen goes down to one knee. Just a beautiful shot there, Dave. He goes down to one knee, tracks that ball, keeps his elbow parallel to the floor, and directs that ball into the left corner. He has the right spin on that ball there, Dave, with that ball coming across his body to the left, that he lets that ball roll off his hand and steers it into that left corner just about a half an inch high. The crowd still applauding. They really appreciate that effort, Dave. This is exactly what we hope to see. Two of the best players in the world playing, you know, an incredibly competitive compelling first game and the crowd loves it too you're watching the world intercollegiate handball championships from tempe arizona at asu players going to take a five minute break we are too from the booth we'll be back at about three from the campus of asu you stick close alan garner luis moreno game two on the way at weplayhandball.com next And we are back. This is game number two. The men's okay, Division I Open our Finals. Second game. Mr. Moreno serving. Line judges. Okay, we're in place. Had a brief word with Luis upstairs. All right. Zero serving zero. He was sitting quietly in a room all by himself, away from the distraction. Sloppy point there from both guys. Luis trying a tomahawk fist in that left right corner. Zero, zero. Allen with an easy opportunity, and Luis made that air. That oh, was a long break there, Dave, between games. Referee had a hard time finding Luis. There's a nice shot there from Allen. Kept his knees flexed through that swing and kept that ball down. One Beautiful shot. Zero. One serve zero. Oddly enough, I found Luis. And it was on accident. Mm. He was sitting in that reception room upstairs by himself. I know. He might have wanted a yogurt between games. Zero serving one. Zero serves one. Also ran into the director of the rec center here, and he said that during the championships of the racquetball tournament last weekend, they didn't have as many people watching as are watching this final right now. I'm talking about the gallery I viewers. I mean, this place is packed. They certainly didn't have the global well, audience that we zero. have watching either, Dave. This match is being broadcast at every computer in the world that's hooked up to the internet. Point. And all those countries just saw that flat kill from the blonde bombshell. Two serving zero. That was a segue. Ten, seven, seven. Luis does well to fist that ball back to the ceiling, gets himself out of trouble. Allen puts him right back in trouble. Look at that shot there, Dave. Point. Have to have a lot of poise to take that. That's a left-handed fist shot. Kind Allen. of tomahawks it down that wall. He's not going for a side wall. He wants that ball Three, to, serving zero. to ride. Allen telling me he likes that shot a lot up in the front court when that ball's up around your shoulder. You can't shoot it. He prefers to fist that Point. ball. Well, I'll tell you, Allen Garner has a garage in his house in San Antonio, Texas, where he plays wall ball. It's uh, one wall and then a little tiny side wall on the right-hand side, and he's practiced those shots to make Four, them effective. Zero. Very one-wall-like shots. Hmm. I tell you, it helps out in this game of handball. With his hand Point. control in the front court, you see that he can do a lot of things with his hands that only Sean Lenning can do, and maybe even Luis Moran. Five, zero. Allen telling me that we'll all be very surprised at how well he can play one wall coming up at the one wall pro stop in the beginning of April. He actually expects to win that one wall event. 
He actually Zero, grew up playing one wall in that garage with a big ball, though. Said that he grew up with two brothers and that everything was a competition, even who could eat the most. He's a very competitive person. There's a setup, and Allen takes it home. Right First game went to Allen Garner, 21 to 19, after a nice run from Five, Luis Moreno. Zero. Had almost nine unanswered points. That's not a good shot there from Luis. And Allen takes care of it. Luis having to resort to try and retrieve that ball over his shoulder Six, behind his back. Zero. You know, earlier I told you that for the first time ever, we were tallying points between Ireland and the United States. The United States was up with three matches to go by six points. When I talk about Time points, we talk about a collective total somewhere around 7,000 points, okay? So six points is not too much of a separation. It got down to uh, Ireland w is actually up by one point right now with one match to go between Luis or uh, Abe Montijo and... Uh, yeah. His opponent, Kieran, Kieran Colm. Mm -hmm. So whoever wins that will decide whether Team Ireland defeats Team America. Also, well, I'm going to speculate here, Dave. I know that Abe won the first game, and now we see Abe sitting here watching this match in the gallery. I think that match ended in two, which means Abe would have won that match, given the United States the Dave Vincent Cup. I, is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, right. Don't know what it's called, but they, they brought it up, and we're just kind of uh, seeing how the numbers work out, and it was obviously came down to the last match. I determined that uh, I believe Team America wins that trophy. They also have individual awards, team awards, Division One, Division Two, Sportsmanship Awards, All-Star Awards. They've all been handed out at the banquet last night. Some trophies are being handed out this morning with the finals. John Bike taking pictures with some of the the winners as, long, as well as Fred Lewis. John Bike saying his goodbyes to me after that first game. I said, how are you going to leave in the middle of this match? He said, all right. Yeah, but he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he'd be able to leave here in the middle of this clash of heavyweights. I'm surprised he's not in the webcast booth with us, but he has a whole family, his mom, his dad, his daughter, his hey, son, his wife. Game. Let's get back to this, though. Warner serving. Seven, serving zero. Seven, serve zero. We saw Luis score eight of the last nine right points out. at the end of that first game. Unfortunately for him, Allen only needed one of those nine points zero. to win the game. Now, seven. Allen scored the first seven points of this game. Right over. Allen making eye contact with Sal Santa Ana. That's one of those situations zero, it's seven. very difficult to avoid hitting the server. It's not really the server's fault, Short just ball. the way the... The ball came off that side wall. Second serve. There's a mistake there from Allen. Oh, well, and Luis well. actually digs that ball into the ground. Luis misjudged that ball. That ball didn't come out nearly as far as he thought. He ended up catching Seven, that ball about two feet zero. behind him. That's why he skipped it, Dave. Just a slight reverse on that, but it was only about two inches. Sloppy footwork there from Luis. Just stuck Eight, his hand zero. out rather than taking that crossover step with his left foot. There's a bigger reverse, and it was a bigger setup, right. and Luis didn't uh, capitalize. Allen's mad at himself for that serve, but he gets the point. That's the second time we've seen Luis Nine, sloppy zero. tripping on his own feet, hitting a back wall setup with his right hand. Very unusual for him. A lot of power on that. Shot, Allen retrieves it though. Point. You see, you see Luis shooting all of these shots with Allen in front of him. That puts a lot of pressure on, on the Ten shooter. Zero. You know you have to kill that ball completely flat, otherwise Allen will pick that ball up. And here's Allen. You no. see Allen shooting yeah. that ball with Luis behind him. He missed that one, but that's the recipe for winning handball right there. Let's watch Zero this serve. Ten. Zero serve ten. There's a reverse. You see Allen pushes Luis out of the front court. Now he gets the setup. You're right. You're right. Allen Garner went for no. the wraparound when Luis was standing in front of him, and he went for the kill shot when Luis was behind his hip. 
Luis lobbing for a screen call there. I agreed Ten with our referee. He stuck by his call. Fourth. I actually Second serve. almost halfway agree with Luis there. I think he... How do you halfway agree with someone? Well, I'm not him. I don't know. It exactly doesn't matter, what... though. <laughs> well, I tell you, I think that he didn't see the ball, and I know he was close to it. That's all. So I you either know. agree with him or you don't. Well, I don't know what the argument was. He could have been talking about a slide ball or contact. I don't know what it is. So I halfway at least agree with what I think he was asking, but I don't know what he was asking for. Notwithstanding that gibberish from both of us, <laughs> Alan Garner missing a. Very easy setup with his left hand. That's the second setup he's missed with his left hand in the last three points. We saw him miss that setup with Luis behind him three rallies ago and just going down to his knee there and missing another setup with his left. Luis certainly won't be making a comeback on Alan Garner's airs because he won't give you many. Zero, serving ten. Zero serves ten. Fourth. Luis Second does third. not find himself trailing 10 to 0 very often. That's a point. Right over. That's, I, th that's I, actually, a I actually thought that ball would make it. That ball was going to hit the left side wall. It would have been a big setup, so it was Zero, ten. fortunate for Allen to hit Luis there, but I think that ball would have made it. Point. I absolutely disagree 150%. Huh. So you don't halfway disagree? One, ten. No. Hmm. One serves 10. The handball gods agreed with me, too. Luis gets the next point. Luis should have put that ball away with his left hand. You see Allen's got that, those great hands up there in the front court, Dave. He, he's able to come across that ball with his fist and run that ball straight back down the same side wall from 10, which it came. 31. Not a good serve there from Allen. Point. Luis just looks a little bit flat in there right now, Dave. Not making those... Extra adjustment 11, steps. One. Doesn't seem confident in himself in there. Overhits that pass. Lionel. Very frustrating there for Luis, Dave. I mean, he keeps that pass off the back wall. He's got, uh, you know, a pretty easy side out. Instead, he overhits it. 11 1. Wow, that was uncharacteristic of Allen. Nice shot there from Allen. Thought he'd put a little reverse on that, but he gets the setup nonetheless. Slide out. Nice. Sloppy rally there from both guys. Nice try from Allen. It looked like he was going to break his hand on that side wall. I'd be more worried about the side wall when Allen crashes into it than him. He's built of steel. World Intercollegiate Four Wall Handball Championships at ASU in Tempe, Arizona. Just a couple miles away from Phoenix, Arizona, one of the most populated cities in all of the United States. Hmm. Not sure that's true. I made that up. One serves 11. Thought so. Luis I missed know. playing that ball. That ball was going to come off the side wall. He chose to run to that ball before it made the side wall. Wasn't able to handle it. 11, 1. You heard the score. 11 serves 1. Out. Beautiful shot there from Luis. Unfortunately for Luis, he's missed that shot a lot more than he's made One, it. 11. One serves 11. And the bombshell returns the favor with a service return kill. 11-1. Side out. Three quick side outs in a row there, Dave. Each rally only two shots, a serve and a return. These guys have to be so fit, Dave, because both so quick to cover the court that the rallies are extended. 
20, 30 shot averages. Actually, these guys averaging 17 shots per rally. One serving 11. One serves 11. Beautiful shot. As a top six pro player, Dave, do you 11, one. sit in a, back here in the booth and wish that you're in there playing right now? Or do you just say, hey, I'd just rather just be here. Allen's playing too tough. You know, it's interesting. I came to this tournament Sign not up. entered. I, I can't remember a time I came to a tournament that I didn't enter. So this is nice. It's a nice relaxing one, weekend. 11. Get to take in some handball one without the stress. Left. Wow, look at that reverse. So you get to see it from a different perspective. Point. Score now is 2-11. to 11. Don't ever count Luis Moreno out. He can get hot. 2-11. I actually had a Our similar ball. match, Dave, against Luis Moreno last year, the first time we ever played. I won the first game 21-20. And I was up 10-0 in the second game and ended up losing the match. So That ball was short, wasn't it? It looked like it. You're certainly right about never counting out Luis Moreno. How did he get that ball? He won't get that. Yes, oh, he does though. I spoke too soon. Oh, and Alan Garner just inside outs that one. I guess nobody's going to appeal that, although it should be appealed. That ball was about two inches short. Actually, what you just did was against the rules. 11, I was just saying, I'm hanging 10 over here. The crowd is not allowed to suggest a player appeal a serve that has to come on his own volition. Yes, I said volition. It's been noted. Okay. Oh, so heartbreaking. Point. Luis just a half a step off there with his back wall shots with his right hand. 12 serving two. 12 serves two. This is game number two. Alan Garner wins the first one, 21 to 19. Here's That's the just impatience there from Luis. Luis somehow doesn't put that ball away. Very easy shot. Side out. I don't think the bombshell had a good look at that ball. That ball actually did crack out. I don't think Allen had a chance at that Two, ball. Serving 12. Allen just wanted to have one more hit to see if he can hit six walls this time. Boy, Luis is putting a lot of junk on every ball he's hitting. But Allen's reading all that junk. Smart shot there from Allen. Side out. You see, that was the first time Luis has made a move early to cover that kill straight down the left, and Allen noticed it immediately and hit that pass shot down the right. 12, serving two. 12 to two. A lot of handball played here for this score. Well, Luis certainly playing a lot better than he was Side out. during that 10 0 run that Allen started this game with. You're watching the World Intercollegiate Four Wall Handball Championships at ASU. Tempe, Arizona, just shy of Phoenix. Phoenix is the fifth most populated state in the United States. Point. Phoenix One, isn't a state. A city in the United States. Phoenix is the fifth most populous Three, city. At 1.5 million people. You're counting just the downtown? <laughs> Phoenix is pretty big. Point. Pretty sprawling. Hmm. Let's go, baby. Four, serving 12. These guys exchanging wraparound shots. Luis puts that ball up to the ceiling. There's a nice shot there from Luis. Point. You see how he followed that ball into the left side wall, let it come off the left side wall. He had Allen pinned behind him, and he just Five, eased nine, that ball nine. into the left corner. You're going to see a glove change coming up soon from Allen Garner. Second. He just leaned against the wall, and his hand slid. That's a great return there from Allen. Here's a setup. Uh, Luis made the wrong shot there. I'm surprised we didn't see a screen call there. That That's looked a like a bounce. bad bounce. Hold it, that was about a bounce off the light. 
Yeah, play it over. That's a that good call. That was unlucky there for Luis because that ball would have been a setup with Five, or without three, the bad bounce. You see that? It almost knocked that light fixture open up there. Oh, look at that shot from Luis Moreno, and it's still rolling. The ball still hasn't bounced. That was a mouse. Now you can see who the crowd is cho cheering for glove here. Glove change, two minutes. There's that glove change I was talking about. You're watching the World Intercollegiate Four Wall Handball Championships, Tempe, Arizona. Dave, uh, we were talking Score about six, the list of cities. Are we back to that, really? Alan Garner is from Texas, just uh, in San Antonio. Houston is actually the fourth most populated city in Phoenix, where Luis has actually played here many times is the fifth fifth most hmm. so we have we have texas and arizona facing each other on multiple accounts according to wikipedia you're watching these games it's the men's division one open finals between luis moreno pima community college and san antonio colleges alan garner alan wins the first one 21 to 19 it was luis moreno coming back in that game as you recall he had a, a lot of momentum on his side but he couldn't uh, get those last couple points should have been 20 to 20 with Luis serving in that first game but it didn't happen it doesn't look like Allen has let up in either of these games with substantial leads but certainly Luis has fought back he's in the process of fighting back here in this second game trails now 5 to 12 he's scored five of the last seven points after trailing 10 to 0 he actually scored eight points in a row in that First game after falling behind 20 to 11. Barely missing a kill shot with this right hand there, Dave. It would have made the score 20 20. It's amazing this game is really comes down to a couple inches here or there. We appreciate the fact that you're watching the live webcast of WePlayHandball.com. Purchase your WPH membership to show your support of these games. Your membership revenue or our revenue that we get off the memberships helps us come to these events and bring this innovation and technology to your homes, your office, your PCs, laptop, Macs, wherever you're at, whether it's the bus stop, the library, at work, hopefully you won't get in trouble. Actually, we Dave just received word that Rodney Fink goes by RFC, just captured his first national championship in the 60 and over doubles. He teamed up with Merv the Swerve. Wow. And they took home the title convincingly, 21-13, 21-1. So congratulations to him. Proof that you can enter 50 national tournaments and finally get one. A lot more than 50. Okay, sorry. It's okay. There's two every year. Forgot about that. So congratulations to my doubles partner, Rodney Fink, and the Harrison Ford of handball, Merv Decker. You'll be teaming with... RFC again this spring, I imagine, to defend that championship at the RFC 2. That'll be in Pittsburgh. That's a WPH sanctioned tournament. Okay, resuming play. Linesman. Make sure you make your plans to come out to uh, the Louis beautiful Turner. Berg in May this year. See Allen and Luis talking right here. Six, serving 12. Six serves 12. Luis, sponsored by the New York Athletic Club and Owen Gloves, as well as Yes to Kids. Luis should have gone straight down the right with that ball. Allen hits Point. himself with that shot. Allen's wearing his favorite shirt. It sports his initials, but he said he was at a sporting goods store in Mexico, and he saw the the shirt that said AG, and he said, you know what, I'm just going to buy that. That's I thought his initials were TBB. Didn't find that on the shirt, so oh. he had to go with this less popular acronym, Alan Garner, not as popular as TBB. I thought that was for Aaron Garner, that shirt. It was for Alex, actually. Oh, Alex, okay. But he didn't read the label. It says 100% cotton. Shrunk down to his size. Seven, serving 12. Seven to 12, second game. Allen wanted to fly that. Luis was in the way. Nice get there from Luis. Point. Allen was getting that in the first game. And Looks like Allen's a, a little bit fatigued right now. He's not 
moving as explosively as I watched him move earlier in this match. This is a setup for Allen. He's going to go to that right side. Allen's kill is not nearly as low Straight right up. now as we're accustomed to seeing. Could be a little bit of fatigue in his legs. He still has a lot of power. Serving eight. Twelve he's, serving eight. he's not locating those kills though right now, and that's not a good serve. That he hop ate him up there, and Luis just crushes yeah. that fist. Sort of a modified overhand sidearm fist pass. Eight, twelve. Eight serves twelve. I like where Luis is standing in the service box here. Gives him more of an opportunity on that serve and shoot style, and he Side just out. hits that ball. Well, that was the wrong decision there, Dave. That ball came across his body. Luis was facing the front wall. Thought he would either take that ball with his left hand and drive it back down the left, or hit a well, three-wall wraparound with his right, but certainly the fist was not the right shot there. Good serve from Alan Garner. That could have been an avoidable oh, right oh, there, oh, Dave. Well, you see Alan jumped from his right back to the left across Luis, and then came back across to his right. Earlier, you said that's automatic. 12, serving eight. I believe it is. Sal nodding his head. I think he knows he missed that call. We'll have to get clarification from James Comstoft, who's a rules aficionado he would let us know Side out. I suppose handball justice occurred there Patty Severo would say so hmm. All right now Toddy's sliding Eight, down a pole 30, in a 12. fire station in SoCal doubt he's watching the live webcast he doesn't miss a webcast Second serve. Good point. Wow. Just a terrible serve there from Luis. Out of all the things that Luis could have done on his second serve, that could have been possibly the worst. 12 serving eight. Short ball. Second serve. I like that serve. You see, Luis doesn't do much with it. Wow. That's a risky Side shot out. to take right there. If he's a millimeter higher, Allen's going to get that ball. That's true. Eight, Still thought Allen would pick that ball up. He didn't. I thought Luis would let that ball bounce Side and come out. off the right side wall. He would have had about a 25-foot kill shot attempt. Unbelievable. I'm surprised well, he took that with his left hand. And with a fist. That's even narrowing the margin even more when you try to fist that from that angle. Luis giving Allen a lot of fly kill opportunities on the return of serve, and Allen not taking advantage of any of them. He's playing that ball off the bounce each time, which surprises me. That's a gettable Point. ball as well. Tough, but still gettable. Surprised Luis didn't pick that ball up. He had good preparation coming into that ball. He's had his hand 13, back. 13 8. 13 to 8. Oh, Allen taking a little bit off, and you can tell when he does that, it's always a reverse, and then he gets that ball. And Point. that's the opportunity Allen's having on virtually every return of serve to take that ball out of the air. He just then takes advantage of it. 14, 8. We'll see if he can make that adjustment. The ball was short. Short ball. Sal didn't know. He judged by the reaction of second Allen serve. walking to take his second serve. Well, it's hard to see. He's looking right through Luis Moreno and a, pan a panel of glass, a support beam. Okay, we'll we'll help him. I agree with you. It's it's not easy being on the court level to call those shorts. Only play That's a good over. call there from Sal. Sal somehow simultaneously looking up at us and making that call. Sal's he has good. Eyes in the back of his head. He played like that as a pro player, and now as a referee, he also has those characteristics. You're watching the men's Division One Open finals between Luis Moreno and Alan Garner. Alan wins the first one, 21 to 19. Luis now here in the second. Trying to make a comeback, but Allen's now scored. To stop that endless streak that Luis had. 14, serving eight. 14 to eight. Well, that's lazy. And Allen wow, makes that was a take. A, that was a great serve there from Allen. That ball really checked up and straightened out. I thought that ball would bounce into that left side wall, 15, but he had so much eight. reverse on that ball, Dave. Not a good serve there, but...
That ball had so much juice on it, Dave, that it hit that side wall, even though it was six inches high and still 16, nearly rolled out. No. Now you see Allen yelling at Second himself turn. just after Luis was yelling at himself. All we're missing now is the referee to yell at himself. We'll have the trifecta. I don't think, I don't think you'll see that from the utmost professional, Mr. Sal Santa Ana. Eight. There was contact there. Serving 16. That was a strange play. Great return there from Allen. Incredible. Looked like it might have been an ace. Allen recovers and puts that ball back to the ceiling and then ends the rally with a beautiful corner kill. You can see Luis is just really frustrated. He knows that he should have about four more points right here. 16, eight. But he's playing as sloppy as Allen was playing earlier. That's a nice shot there. Allen really has missed a lot of opportunities, particularly here in this second game. Since he's been leading 20 to 11, he hasn't been as sharp. Ball. Luis, though, unable to, to take advantage of those mistakes. Second serve. He's made a number of mistakes on his own. And there's a bad air there from Allen. I'm not sure he was trying to shoot that ball there, Dave. It looked like he was just Nine, trying to get underneath 16. that ball and lift it. But he mishit it. I like that return there, Dave. That's what Allen does well up in the front court. You want to keep him out of there. For whatever reason, Dave, Luis does not pick up those corner kills in the front court as well as you'd expect him to with his speed. That ball looked 16, to be up, and 39. Luis didn't close on it, took the wrong angle. There's a fly kill opportunity. You see Allen backs up. He prefers to take the ball off the back wall. That ball hit Luis in the head, actually maybe in the mouth. For me, Dave, I'd like to see Allen taking that ball out of the air and shooting it from the short line rather than letting it bounce and shooting it from 38 feet, letting Luis take the court 16, position nine. up in the front court. You see that shot affected Allen just a little Second bit, lost serve. a little bit of focus. He knows that he hit Luis right in the mouth. Luis looking to see if he has blood. That sometimes will motivate a, an opponent. Wow. Very unorthodox shot there, Dave. I've, I'm not going to recommend it, but that's a percentage shot for Luis right there. Nine, An inside out fist. 9 16. Both players really struggling with their first serve now. Can't find that range. Luis still stinging from getting Second. hit in the face, continually wiping that lip. There's a nice wide angle corner kill from Allen. That's the kind of shot we're used to seeing from him. He hasn't been able to execute that with the consistency. 16. Nine. that we've seen. Ball. Both players relying on their two-wall second serve primarily because second. the majority of their first serves have been short. Both guys just bang the ball right in the middle of the front wall, Dave. Unusual tactics. Very strange rally here, Dave. That's going to be very tough. The first thing you're taught Point. when you're learning handball, Dave, is don't hit the middle of the front wall. We saw that ball hit the middle of the front wall about 12 times in a row there during that rally. Very strange. 17, serving nine. 17 serves nine. Allen takes that ball back to the ceiling. I thought he'd take two steps back and shoot that ball. He waits for a better opportunity and he puts that ball away. Now it's 18 Point. nine. Luis finds himself in the similar position he was in in that first game. 18, nine. Unbelievable. Nine. Just pulled, pulled off of that shot there, Dave. He threw his head back. His momentum was taking him to the right when he should have stepped into that ball. He should have been stepping into that side wall. He catches that ball off his fingertips and just pretty much flubbed it. Very easy shot for him. This is game number two of the men's division one open finals between Luis Moreno and Alan Garner, the world intercollegiate four wall handball championships. Luis has never lost in the college 
tournament before. He's now two points from defeat, trailing 19 to 9. 19, serving 9. Nice get from Luis. Allen tracks it down. Luis says it was a double bounce. Thank you. Point. I didn't see that double bounce over there, but it must have just gathered up Possible underneath gaming him. Possible match, serving nine. Here it is, a chance for a collegiate championship. There's the big setup that he wants. There it is, and he got it. Alan Garner nice wins match, his first ever collegiate championship. The blonde bombshell from San Antonio College, San, San Antonio, Texas. Alan Garner, 21, 18, 21, 9. Actually, the score in that first game was 21 to 19. 